hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x divided by 19 is equals to x and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here uh, we first solve this problem for all the values of x and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so. You like both of these two methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method in the comment section. So here we move toward the solution of this problem from first method. And in the first method uh, here, uh, we just move this 19 to the right hand side. Here you see that it is divided by x. And when we move it into the right hand side, it is multiplied by this x and it will become here x times of 19. And further uh, in the next step, we uh, move this x from left hand side to the right hand side and it will be written as this. This is written as x times 19 becomes here 19x. And this is positive x. When we move it into the right hand side, it will become negative x. And this whole equation is equal to 0. And now here further in the next step we need to um, we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 19x minus x uh, and uh, it will becomes here 18x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here because we solve this problem for all the values of x so that's why we need to remove this 18 from left hand side and for this we divide both of the sides by 18 when we divide both of the sides by 18 it will be written as 18x divided by 18 equals to 0 divided by 18 and now you see here this 18 and this 18 are cancelled out by each other and we get here x is equals to this is 0 divided by 18 and we know that when we divide 0 with any other number it is always equals to 0 so 0 divided by 18 becomes here 0 so here uh, in the first method we will get only one root of the given equation and that is x is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to verify that is this value of x is satisfied our given question statement or in other words we just verify that is this value of x be the solution or is this value of x be the extraneous root so for verification we need to copy down given question statement here it is x divided by 19 is equals to x so here uh, we need to substitute the value of x is equal to 0 on both of the sides and it will be written as this is 0 divided by 19 is equals to 0 and here uh, again you see that we uh, 0 divided by 19 uh, means that this will become 0 equals to 0 so this shows that again both of the sides are equal so uh, if again both of the sides are equal uh, so this means that the value of x is equals to 0 is satisfied over given question statement so if this value satisfied given question statement it means that x is equals to 0 be the solution set of this equation okay so this is the uh, first method uh, and now here we need to move towards our second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is x divided by 19 is equals to x this is our given question statement and here uh, in the second method uh, we use the LCM technique to solve this problem so uh, for this we move this x from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x divided by 19 this is positive x when we move it into the left hand side it will become negative and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further here in the next step in order to take the LCM of this term uh, here you see that the denominator of this term is 19 we need to make the denominator of this term is also 19 and for this uh, we multiply and divide this term by 19 and it will be written as 19 x is divided by 19 and this whole equation is equals to 0 
and now you see here the denominator of both of these two terms are same so that we need to take the LCM of this term and it shall soon become here 19 and we get x minus 19 times of x and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step you see here this is x minus 19x these are the difference between two same variable terms so we need to uh, uh, subtract the coefficients of both of these two terms and 1 minus 19 becomes here minus 18x divided by 19 is equals to 0. And here uh, because our target is to find the values of x so for that uh, we first move this 19 to the right hand side and uh, it will be written as minus 18x is equals to this will become 0 multiplied by 19 and here as you know uh, about that for the values of x we need to remove this minus 18 from left hand side and for this we divide both of the sides by minus 18 and when we divide by minus 18 it will be written as minus 18x divided by minus 18 and in the right hand side 0 times 19 becomes 0 divided by minus 18 so this minus 18 and this minus 18 are cancelled out by each other and we get here again x is equals to 0 divided by minus 18 becomes here 0 so in the second method we again get the value of x but in the first method we already verified that this value of x is satisfied over given question statement uh, so uh, this means that the solution set of this question is x is equals to 0 so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos